Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolog. Now today I am going to talk about a particular set of people that is your mom, dad, granddad, grandmom and even your uncle and aunt for that matter. These people are really confused in these days. Mr. Narendra Modi, that is our Prime Minister, announced that 500 and 1000 rupee notes will be banned in India and after that demonetization has started and everyone is struggling for cash transactions. So a very big solution to this problem is cashless transactions via Paytm. So these people, that is your grandfather, grandmother or even, mo even your mom and dad don't know how to use Paytm. Even if they know, they are really confused and really scared to go ahead and use this app. So today in this video, I am going to show you how to use Paytm. So please forward this video to your mom, dad, uncle and aunts so that even they can get to know how to use this simple app and they can do cashless transactions themselves. Anyways, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead right into my video. Let's get started. So as you can see, I have my phone over here. This is a normal smartphone with Android installed in it. Paytm will also work on iOS and Windows, so don't worry. If you have a smartphone, Paytm will work with you. Anyways, first of all, let me go ahead and start the screen recorder so that you can see my screen while I'm doing the work on Paytm. So here is the recorder. Let's start. So, as you can see, this is my phone. Let's go ahead and open the Paytm app. Here we go. So this is the general Paytm app. This is the general layout which will be available in any platform that is iOS, Android or Windows. Everyone will have this general basic form. Now there are many buttons and links to this. Trust me, it is really confusing at the start. Don't worry, after this video, that means after roughly about 5 to 6 minutes, you can use Paytm and you'll be proud to tell everyone that you can use Paytm. So sit back and enjoy. So first of all, on the top, you have three main options that you have to consider. Number one is pay, number two is add money and number three is passbook. Yeah, these three options are really important when it comes to transactions. So what is pay? Pay means if you want to pay someone via Paytm, you can use this option. Add money is really simple. If you want to add money to your wallet, then you can go ahead and do so with this option. And number three is passbook, which will keep a track of all your transactions. That is even credit or debit, it will keep track of it. So passbook is just like your bank passbook. It will keep track of all the transactions that you've made with this wallet. So let me go ahead and show you the pay option first. Here is the pay option. And as you can see, as soon as I click the pay option, the first option we get is scan code. Now what is this? You might have seen people putting up posters that Paytm accepted here and they might be a little black barcode over there. So this is for that. So for example, if you go to a coffee shop and it is written there Paytm accepted here and they have just printed the barcode over there, then you can scan that barcode and send money to that coffee shop. As simple as that. Also in Ola and Uber, drivers have these uh, barcodes on their iCards so that if you want to pay them with Paytm, then you can scan the iCard let's scan the barcode and you can go ahead and pay it also if you want to send money to your friends or family anyone they have the barcode in their phone as well so this is for that number two we have mobile number so you can send money to a person via his mobile number as well just type in the mobile number over here then just go ahead and type the amount so for example if i go to lunch with my friend and we have split the bill half off and i want to pay him uh, so that I'll, I'll write here that lunch money that's it so this is for future reference when you go back to see your accounts your accounts will show this option so that you don't have to remember where did you spend your money you can put your option over here that is what is it for why did you pay that person so that is for that lunch money next up we have options shown as show code so this is your barcode that means if you want to accept payment from someone, you can go ahead and show him this barcode. This barcode right over here. So for example, if I want to take money from my friend, I'll just tell him that open the Paytm app and scan this barcode and send me the money right away. So this is as simple as it gets. Showing the barcode and accepting money. Yeah, it is that simple. Don't need to be scared about, just show your barcode and you'll get your money. As soon as you get your money, you will get a notification via text message that you got your money. Also, if you pay someone, then also you will get a text message that your money has been debited from your wallet. Next up, we have a payment request option. 
So if you request payment from someone, which is a feature available in that app, that will show up here. No, I have not requested any payment from anyone, so it is empty and it's saying relax, you don't have any payment pending. So this way you can keep a track on how much a person owes you or how many people owe you for that matter. So if a person owes you, you can put it over here and he'll get a notification that you owe this guy this much so that he can pay you and here you'll keep a track on how much money is to come from other people. That is again a very good feature to have. So that was the pay option. Let's go ahead and look how to add money to this wallet. We click on add money option and simple it asks us for the amount. I'll say 450, then add money. And then you have a number of options like credit card, debit card, net banking. So for example, if you want to add money via debit card, you can go ahead and do so. On the other side, you have net banking and credit card. So whatever is your option, you can go ahead and choose that and add money to this wallet. If you don't know how to use a debit card, let me know in the comments below so that I can make a separate video about it on how to use debit card and credit card for online shopping. Trust me, I'll do it. Just wait, let me know in the comments down below. If enough people want it, I'll do it. So that's it. When Once you've completed your transaction, your money will be added to your Paytm wallet. And from there on, you can use this money almost everywhere. Then the third option is Passbook. As I said earlier, it will keep track of all the transactions that you've made in your entire history. That means from the day you started Paytm wallet till the day you end the wallet, all the transactions will be available over here. You can also opt for the statement via email so that you can print it and keep track of your accounts. So the passbook is a very big thumbs up from my side. So that was about the Paytm wallet. That's it. Only three options you have to remember. Number one, pay. Number two, add money. And number three is passbook. So if you want to add money, click on add money. If you want to pay to someone, go and click on the pay tab. And if you want to see how many transactions you've done so far, go ahead and click on the passbook passbook tab. That's it. It is as simple as that. A Paytm wallet also has some other features like recharge, bill payment and even online shopping. Now all those features I cannot explain in a single video. So I will leave a link down in the description below, below which will give you information about all the features available in the Paytm app. So don't forget to check it out. So overall the Paytm app is really optimized when it comes to cashless transactions. So I would suggest that you should go ahead and use this app on a daily basis because if you want an India where everyone is using cashless transactions, then Paytm is the app for you. It is made in India and it is for Indians. I'm not doing marketing of this app, but this is the only app which according to me is really optimized and everyone can use it. Now there is a usage limit of 20,000 rupees per month. But if you want to upgrade that limit, you can do so by submitting your Aadhaar card and PAN card and the usage limit will be upgraded. Also, you can send money from your Paytm wallet to your bank account. The option is available in the app right here. When you go to the Passbook app, there is an option send, saying that send, bank, send money to bank. And for example, if you're accepting payments via Paytm, then you can go ahead and send all the money you've collected into your bank account so that it is safe. So yeah, Paytm is the future for cashless transactions. And trust me, everybody is going to use it sooner or later. That's it guys, this was my very quick video about the Paytm app. Do let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. If you have any questions about this app, I will leave my email ID in the description below. You can hit me up anytime you want. So if you are still confused with this app, go ahead and write me an email. I'll explain it to you everything, how to use this app. It is not something to be scared about. It is really, really easy. Anyways, my name is Hush Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.